In the heart of the city, a structure rises connecting heaven and earth. This is no ordinary building, but a sacred temple, an architectural marvel of the Sumerians. My name is Lucas Lima, architect and professor of art history. I've dedicated the past few years unraveling the intricate ties between art, culture, and the historical events that have shaped our shared destiny. Welcome to my art history series. Constructed from mud, brick, and plaster, it stands as a testament to the ingenuity and spiritual devotion of an ancient civilization. These temples grounded in the earthly realm were meticulously oriented to the cardinal points of the compass. Inside, a tripartite design catered to various functions, offices, living quarters for priests, and storage areas. But there were also high temples, elevated on platforms transforming into enigmatic ziggurats. These stepped pyramids, with names hinting at celestial connections, served as portals for communion between priests and gods. Standing tall at 40 to 50 feet, ziggurats were symbolic mountains revered by the Sumerians. They were not just places of refuge during floods, but also symbolized Earth's generative power. The raised platforms made these temples more visible, inciting wonder in human observers and potentially pleasing the gods. In 3500 BCE, Uruk emerged as a cultural hub of Sumerian civilization. Here stood the White Temple, named for its whitewashed brick surfaces, a tribute to Anu, the chief of Sumerian gods. This temple sat on a sacred mound constructed from the ruins of older temples. The temple's approach was indirect, a winding ascent that mirrored a visitor's metaphorical journey into the divine realm. This journey could be witnessed by the community, emphasizing the separation between the priests and the common people. Uruk was also home to the legendary King Gilgamesh, who carved his epic tale on a stone marker. He built the city walls of Uruk and the Iana, a temple of Inanna, the goddess of love and war. The temple's walls were adorned with colored stone or painted clay cones, creating intricate mosaic patterns. These temples are more than just structures of stone and mud. They are a testament to a civilization's devotion, its ingenuity, and its undying quest to bridge the gap between the earthly realm and the divine. But the story doesn't end here, my friends. The Sumerians were not only architects, but also skilled artisans. Their artistry extended beyond the grandeur of their temples into intricate sculptures and inlays that reveal a culture rich in symbolism and craftsmanship. Join us in our next episode as we delve into these tangible echoes of the past, exploring the Sumerians' mastery over form and detail, their ability to breathe life into stone, and their uncanny knack for storytelling through art. Stay tuned as we continue our journey back in time, unearthing the stories etched in stone and preserved in the sands of time. And if you want to delve deeper, I invite you to read my meticulously detailed articles that will ignite your passion for art and architecture. Check the link in the description of this video, and together we'll continue to explore the fascinating world of art history one masterpiece at a time.